Follow my cheap profession on the key possession. I'm OD aggressive when I run the rock. See me flexing in the winning section. If they press a bomb and on them off the top, slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. Toss a bullet, hit you in the chest, and send a burn across your face from mind to slot. Please don't test them, I bring heat and brush it. Have my hit or brush, you move you off the spot. Slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable muck coins, check out my sponsor at MOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The here. Welcome back, money team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese. That's right. There was a huge update a couple days ago that really patched a lot of stuff, even practice mode. I mean, I'm noticing that I can actually go into my depth chart, which was something you could not do before this patch, which they didn't mention in the patch notes. But there's so much improvements in this game that it really feels much more playable now. So I'm going to show you guys uh, a really good series of defensive plays out of the 3 for i which is the defense I was using before the patch. Now, one of the things that really happened during the patch, too, that they did talk about is they really nerfed a lot of formations like the 2-4 double mug. They made it so that you can't crash your defensive line inside anymore to get those disengage blitzes. They also nerfed the dime or the dollar. There's a lot of blitzes out of that that don't work anymore. Uh, the, the, the hash marks uh, blitz that a lot of people are using doesn't work anymore. So I'm going to give you guys what I thought was one of the best defenses before the patch, and I still think is one of the best defenses after the patch in the three for odd and this is the defense i've been using for a very long time i already put out gameplay of one of these plays i'll have a link in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video if you guys want to check that out out of the cover three match like i said this particular uh, defense here is probably best if your opponent has the ability to run to the outside if they're under center in any way if they're in a pistol single bag or an iphone formation where they can run stretch plays this is going to be the better defense to use when they're under center although you can use it when they're in shotgun but the best play if your opponent is passing from a shotgun look will be the buck three press it's going to be something new that I'm going to show you guys in today's video. So really simple setup. Cover three matches if they're under center. Will buck three press if they're in a shotgun. After that, you don't want to make any adjustments. You don't want to change your, your flats because if you do that, it will override the matching principle. So don't change your coaching adjustments. And I'm going to start this video off by showing you guys the cover three match. Now, before I get into the two, I'm also in the Raiders defensive playbook. A lot of people are going to ask what playbook you're in. The reason I'm in the Raiders is because this is my favorite defensive playbook to use. And I already broke down a full ebook on this defense. So if you guys need more help or more money plays you can download this or any of my ebooks instantly simply click the links in the description or the top pin comment now first up i'll show you guys the cover three match we're going to pick that on offense we just want to go under center because like i said this particular play is going to be best against under center for base so we're going to just pick random single back here the setup for this play is really easy just spread everything deep pad to the left hand up deep pad to the right hand up and then you want to blitz all linebackers which is deep pad to the right hand down that's all you really got to do and then i'm going to come over this gap here to, uh, to before the play starts, I'm gonna drop back after the play starts. If I have that little check above my head there, I know that I'm being targeted, which is perfect because when I drop back, this guard's gonna have no way to block. That's basically the idea. As far as the coverage goes, you kind of bare bones, but it's a it's an instant pressure. You're gonna get pressure either from the left outside linebacker or the middle linebacker on the other side. Uh, and the reason I said to run this under center is because you can see I have outside leverage. If my opponent is trying to run a stretch play, he's going to have a hard time doing that because I have outside leverage on both sides. Running up the middle might be a little bit easier, but you'll see how that delayed blitz from the middle linebacker a lot of times will shut that down. And as far as the coverage goes, we have coverage everywhere. The seam flat's going to match uh, the slot receiver. The outside cornerbacks are going to match the outside receivers. And uh, as far as the tight end goes, that's going to be my responsibility. I'm going to drop back into tight end. It's really that simple. Like I said, we're going to let the play start here. I'm not going to guess pass, although that will help sometimes with the speed of the linebacker going in, especially if there's some sort of uh, pressure there. You can see there will be quick throw opportunities with a defense like this. So from time to time, you're just gonna wanna spread everybody and not send the blitz. You know what I mean? You don't always send this blitz. You're gonna play uh, shadow games with your opponent where a lot of times you'll make it look like you're blitzing, but then they'll throw it and then they'll quick throw into uh, into a hook curl. It's really that simple. We're, we can understand that principle without showing it. So we're gonna try to get some pressure here. So one more time, blitz and all. You can see if it's a run play, the edge is pretty much there, but I can peel off and help out with that if he gets to the outside. Um, because honestly, Max Crosby, I mean, I really expect Max Crosby to shut that down and I'm sure we'll get that look eventually. 
But this is pretty much the play here. As you can see, we get uh, the matching coverage there was all over CeeDee Lamb. Like I said, it really doesn't matter where he goes. That's how matching principles work. He's going to match that receiver and basically treat it like a man coverage. So you can see, even with this outside quick throw, he drops down that. He's just all over that. So it looks like he's meant to drop back. That's why I said, to me, regular cover three sucks because they won't do this. They won't match to these guys. And you can see he's all over and he might have gave up a yard. So, so far, we really haven't given up much on the ground or in the air as i might have messed up this play here but that's fine uh, i'm sure it'll work the same way so here we go once again like i said i'm just dropping back on the tight end that's all i really gotta do although here we get a run and you can see how crosby shuts that down it's very difficult to run against this that's the whole point this is a much better run defense than anything else and that's why like i said if your opponent has the ability to run in either direction this is what you're going to want to do you see right there the blitzing linebacker kind of missed that was that was something that that i expect to see more often but for whatever reason he just gets juked out of his shoes by a 90 year old ezekiel elliott but you can see he's coming right in that gap i don't know what kind of poor programming that is as i didn't guess pass like what are you doing that's your lane you just missed it it is what it is but you can see how that typically will work but we'll go and do this a few more times like i said just to show we want to get a pressure i, I know i have it set to random so i might not always get that but you can see how we're shutting down the run very easily shutting down the pass very easily as well RPO is the only thing so far that really gave it any issues, but like I said, if I want to press, you know, I might be able to take that away. As you can see, pressing is not always the best idea when it comes to zones, though. We'll see what happens here. As like I said, that's that linebacker. I expect him to do that, which he didn't do in the last play. But you can see there's really no rushing uh, going on here. There's no ground attack going on here. This is a very aggressive defense. I just want to get one pass play where I can get that look where you actually get. And you can see they're basically just running the same play. That's the exact same flat play. I actually had to back out. I got to pick a play where we actually get uh, a drop back. So we're going to pick the PA slot cross here. Because every play I was running against it, we weren't getting that. So here we go. We have a play. On this play, I don't even have to worry about the tight end. Uh, but I will have to worry about the running back. And you can see how the edge guy is going to come off every single time. They're blocking six, uh, which is something that, um, because of this tight end's blocking, this is a six-man, uh, a six-on-six. We only have six guys coming in, and we have six guys blocking. But you can see when I drop back on this guard, he's blocking nobody. And this edge guy's coming off the edge free regardless. I mean, he's not, he never even gets picked up. I don't know what happened with the, uh, with the, with the guy coming in over the middle there. He gets picked up by 73. But the bottom line is when I peel back, somebody's going to come in free every single time. Whether it's this edge defender, and you can see I didn't get passed because he bit on the play action. Or whether it's going to be the blitzing linebacker. They're going to come in free every single time. I might have to pick another place so we don't get the same thing. You don't really have to spread the linebackers either, by the way. You really have to spread the defensive line. So we're going to leave that linebacker to shoot straight on that a gap and you can see here now he gets in free but since i didn't guess pass he takes out uh, he takes out the running back because you know obviously they're going to bite on that play action so if i really want to i can just guess pass and now he'll go right after the quarterback as you'll see on this play like i said spraying the defensive line really is the only thing necessary as you can see right here he bypasses at that time goes right for the quarterback it's a much easier play but you can see it's basically the same thing six on six if you spread the linebackers it'll be better at maintaining that outside edge and they'll also get in free off the edge but if you don't spread the linebackers you can see what happens this guy comes in with delayed blitz and we're getting a very easy sack right up the middle which i typically prefer so it's really up to you if you want that pressure to come off the edge and if you want better outside run defense i mean i really just can bring crosby out here manually i don't even have to do that but you can see how I, once again i have to come down the gap either i just have to have that rip check mark pop up and you can see how 70 stays and i didn't even guess past that time and he still busts through so very easy play and it's also very controllable if i want that outside linebacker to come in instead say i think that my opponent is uh sliding protection to pick up the uh the middle linebacker or something like that just spread everything and now you'll see how i'll guess pass this time now you'll see how the same thing will work only this time the edge guy will come in which can basically blow up your uh, your blocking assignment if your opponent has a blocking structure like that so very easily play especially under center like this now that's best if your opponent's under center but if they're in shotgun you're going to want to use this play instead the will buck free press the same matching defense let's go and let's pick that on offense we're just going to pick uh basically you know any trips formation is going to be good uh, because this is going to be a formation that typically gives cover three problems but we're going to go we're going to pick random gun tray open actually we're going to pick uh inside zone because i don't want to just be running it against a bunch of random plays i'm going to show you guys how this works as a run defense so let's go and let's pick that first for this play to work as a run defense against uh cover against shotgun looks it's going to be the same setup whether you want to set up the blitz against the pass or whether you want to set it up as a run defense you're just going to shift the entire defense to the right which is rbr1 and then right on the left stick and now you'll see how this looping middle linebacker is going to come in against run plays and pass plays uh right through the middle you're going to see how this guard or this defensive tackle is 
going to pin the guard in the center, uh, which is going to make this a very effective blitz. And you can see how that guy's just waiting. So you always want to make sure that if you're running this blitz as a run defense or as a pass rush, you want to make sure you're running this guy, this blitzing linebacker, in the direction that the running back is most likely to travel, uh, which on this play is going to be towards the quarterback. He has to go across the quarterback's face, so it's going to be to the left. So like I said, run this blitz to the point where this guy here is going to drop down and cut that off on pretty much any single play. Same thing when it comes to a pass play, even though I know I picked a run play here. So like I said, you're going to see how this play works pretty consistently every single time they try to run that blitz. He's going to get met by that linebacker because the linebacker is already in assignment to blitz at that angle. Obviously, if you run something like an 0-1 trap or if you run like a counter run, it's not going to be as effective. But the most of the time, people are running inside zones. 99% of the time, people are running inside zones. And that's why this defense is so effective against shotgun. It's because it's going to cut that off every single time. Now, we'll go ahead and we'll pick a pass play. And we're going to set it the exact same way. I'm just going to pick... Uh, we'll pick the curl halfback blast. It really doesn't matter. I'm just picking a random play here. So, same thing. We're just going to go ahead and slide that protection. Like I said, I like this play because on a pass play, I don't have to be down here and try to peel off from a block. I can basically just start in coverage. And since we have matching coverage, even against trip formations like this, the outside cornerback is going to match the outside receiver. The seam flat is going to match the slot receiver. And I'm just going to match the tight end. It's really that simple. This other seam flat will probably match the running back. And you can see, I mean, I really didn't see what happened, but I saw Dak was running right away. So, I'm guessing the blitz got in. Even with the running back technically being a, blitz, a blocker right now, you can see how this guy loops in. The running back doesn't pick it up, and he forces him out of that lane, the same way he did in the run play. You can see how he just loops right past. Only on this play, uh, the, the running back got in the way of the, of the left tackle, and basically everybody's coming in free. You can see how we have um, you know, three guys coming in because Dak had to roll out based off the pressure from this looping blitz. So I wanted to back out and pick another play. Uh, if the running back's straight up on a pass block, I'm trying to find something where he's just straight up pass blocking. Um, a lot of times people pick that up, although I'm not really seeing that. Here we go. We'll pick this play here, the flood. Like I said, the running back, a lot of times, if he's just in a straight pass block, we'll pick that up. That's about the only thing. Although on this play here, you can see he never even saw it as the tight end didn't catch it. This is another reason why you want to run this blitz on the opposite side of the blitzing line of the blitz of the running back because you can see here he's looking to the right he doesn't even see this guy loop around as you can see Dak does get the ball away pretty quickly because I wasn't you know covering that side of the I probably should have been but he he loops around every single time for a very easy play so on this play here since I know that um, you know this guy did do a very good job of matching that tight end I'm going to use the tight end this time and you can see how that loop comes around the running back did pick it up this time but you can see we still get the the hit on the quarterback as uh, he doesn't get the ball away. So like I said, nine times out of 10, the running back can pick that up if he sees it, but a lot of times you won't see it. As you can see right here, he's not even looking at it and Dak's running for his life as we get another sack. So a very good uh, blitz against under against uh, shotgun looks. Go ahead and watch the replay here once again. You can see how the running back is blocking, but since I'm going the opposite way of where the running back's blocking, he never even sees it and nobody picks it up. Although the center somehow does get around to pick it up, but that just lets somebody else freeze. We get a sack once again. So I'm going to go to my end of the video there. If you guys want to see gameplay, me using this defense in gameplay, I'll have that popping up on screen right now. So just click the link. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.